Yesterday, I took my 12-year-old down to the Wilson County uh, Expo Center in Lebanon, Tennessee. It's about an hour away from where I live and got to meet a, a new good friend, Mr. Eddie Mack from USTacticalEdge.com. He makes these knives by hand. Um, you know, I, I met him on Facebook and we've chatted a few times and we went down to check out his knives in person. You can go over to his website, USTacticalEdge.com, and, and see the knives. But man, seeing, seeing them in person, getting to handle them, they are incredible. So much so that I'm going to commission Eddie to make the Signature Series Bushcraft Ridge knife. Uh, I'm working on that with him now. Um, and it's going to be awesome. So my son saw this one and fell in love with it. So this is a neck knife. It comes with a Kydex sheath, and I'm going to put a paracord lanyard on here for him. He said he wants purple, so we're probably going to do something like that. He really likes um, the blue accent and the handle here. Um, you can read all about uh, Eddie's knives on his website. Uh, he uses several different kinds of steel. You have some different handle material options, and there are some different blade profiles. And you see his initials engraved right there. EM. This did I say this is the neck bone series? <laughs> um, there's he has another neck knife that is the backup and the backup TKO. I'm sorry, Eddie, if I'm butchering those. Um, this one, the neck bone, is about a three and a quarter inch blade, and the the backups are their blade profile is shorter and wider. Uh, he actually had sold out of those. Uh, when we were there, the TKO, but the backup TKO. And then, like I said, Hayden fell in love with this knife. So I'm going to take it out in the woods today. Um, we're just going to do some light work with it. We're going to um, probably make a fire stick with it. We're going to use the back to process some tinder. And then we'll also use a ferro rod and throw some sparks. But this thing is just beautiful, man. And that cutting edge, I wish I had a piece of paper handy. What is this? What is this paper? Is it, oh man, this is probably something my wife needs. Oh well. But you're going to see how sharp it is today. <laughs> I just barely drug that. I stropped it just a little bit. Um, my wife hates when I cut these, when I do cut paper with these like this, but I just dropped it just, a, I mean, just for a second before turning this camera on. It is, it is razor sharp. All right, guys, I'll put a link to his website in the description below. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll, when I get this, the paracord wrap on there, the lanyard, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. To give you a little idea of what I'm doing here, I just took this purple paracord, I put one of those ferro rod toggles on there, and then ran it through halfway, put it through these two holes on the Kydex sheath, and now I'm just going to tie a little Solomon bar, or whatever you want to call this, a couple of inches down here, maybe two inches, three inches down, and then run the ferro rod down there and it'll drip over your neck. You have your neck knife, ferro rod, and then I'm also gonna wrap, probably wrap this part right here with some paracord. All right, check back in in a minute. All right, now that the art project is finally over, um, the boy said he wanted some purple paracord on it, so I put all the purple paracord on here we could. Um, you'll see Here's the neck lanyard. Again, I just did a loop there, ran it through. I put ferroserum rod toggle, about two inches of that Solomon, um, Solomon, uh, whatever it's called. At the end, I put just a wooden bead on here, 
just slipped this on this part and then just tied an overhand knot there so that you can kind of change the size of it. Then I wrapped the sheath here with paracord. This is a separate wrapping. I just pulled it through there, tied it off, and wound it tight. Then we, of course, had to have the wrist lanyard on here also. Again, I just ran that through the end, put a little wooden bead on there. I have this bag that I bought on Amazon for like super cheap. And then just overhand knot in the end. So now you can put your hand through there, tighten the bead down on that. Sometimes your wrist gets fatigued, or if the knife drops or throws, it's still on there. So yeah, there we go. Now let's get this bad boy out in the woods, see what she can do. Mm -hmm.